Um, it's huge. Here we go. So we gotta dress up another alien. Like the straw. Nope, not this guy. This strawberry over here. I go on to a better place. I find it interesting that the aliens quotes in this game are literally just like quotes from Toy Story. Like that one that he just said was from the first Toy Story. When uh when when an alien when one alien gets picked up by the claw. He says those lines, I think he says like farewell my friends, I will go on to a better place. Something like that. I have been chosen. Farewell my friends, I go on to a better place. Yeah, I know Toy Story that well, I know. I mean, I watched it over and over again on VHS. And I think even on DVD. I'm not too sure, but yeah. I've seen it several times. Probably hundreds. Alright, so we gotta get this guy and grow him. And there we go. It's too bad Dracula's in the way. But yeah, he's huge now. That's pretty cool. Alright, next up is Cyborg Swordsman. So we gotta get uh, the Cyborg outfit for one of these townspeople. Forget exactly where it is. There it is. Move his hair. There we go. And I believe, judging by the picture we saw earlier, we have to throw him into the saloon. There we go. He has two swords now. Or did he always have two swords? Uh, no, he has one sword there, but apparently he had two swords in the cutscene. Not sure about that. Anyways, Lounge Lizards. There we go. We may as well dress these guys up. In these snazzy outfits. Wait, do any of them have like any head accessories? No, it doesn't seem like it. <sighs> doesn't seem like it. Okay. So, there's another alien. Okay. Uh, there's one. There's Wolf over here. And there he said it again. Let's see, the last one we dress in a pink outfit. I believe this, I believe this one we gotta dress in a black outfit. That's a vampire outfit. Nope. Or was it white? It might have been white. This one. And I think we have to throw both of them into the saloon. So this guy. Is he going here? Oh, just one of them. Okay. There we go. Check him out. A little jig. That's awesome. I think that probably would have been better with mu music, but, uh, but yeah. Alright. Pirate's treasure. So we gotta dress up a whole bunch of townspeople as pirates. Well, we already have this guy. Although, that might be a different kind of pirate. Yeah, they definitely have different hats. So, we may as well do that. Uh, 
Let's see here. Here we go. That's it. Here's the outfit. Or er, the hat. That's one. Default hair that it gives me whenever we select the pirate hat. There we go. That's two. I don't know. The Leprechaun Space Ranger can stay. We have three pirates now. Or is it five? There we go. They found the treasure. Does that mean we'll get some treasure too? Doesn't appear to be anything in there. Come on. I deserve some credit for dressing up, you guys. Whatever. Let's see, we've done all those. Viking Horde! Gotta get a whole bunch of Vikings up in here. Or just give them Viking hats. Doesn't seem to really ask for anything else. Nope. That's not what I want. Let's see. Can I... Nope, that's not what I wanted. But what? Wh why did I move? What was that? Why did I just teleport? Apparently, I can't throw them in the back door. Oh, that works. Okay. Sure. Let's give this guy a Viking hat. This guy. There we go. We have enough people in uh, Viking hats. <laughs> Alright, Viking Horde. Alright, what's next? Barbershop Quartet, Penning Zoo, Jailhouse Jamboree. We have quite we have quite a few more to do. Yeesh. A lot more than I thought. Alright, Barbershop Quartet is up next. Okay, for this one I have to turn the music on. Because I, I have a story for this one. Or not really a story, but it's just kind of... Because this is just kind of something from my childhood. So, I think we have to give him specific... Yep, that one. The nearly bald hair. One with a mustache. I believe it specifically asked for that. But, uh... I know the Barbershop Quartet is one of the, uh... One of these missions that actually is in the Wii version. Probably because it just requires you to dress people all the same. And in the Wii version, whenever you can't like individually dress up certain townspeople, you have to... Um, what If you dress one townsperson in a, an outfit, all of them are affected. So every townspeople... Every townsperson in your world has to has to have the same outfit. So, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty limited in the Wii version for stuff you can do. But, whatever. It makes sense, I guess. Alright, one more. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna turn on the music real quick. Because this is important. Trust me. Alright, Mr. Vampire. You will be our next, or our fourth member of the Barbershop Quartet.
there we go. Yeah, let me turn the music back off. There we go. Barbershop Quartet. Yeah, my sister and I thought that was the funniest thing back then. We loved it. We loved the Barbershop Quartet. I guess we just thought any sort of dance, like just any sort of cartoon character dancing, I guess we thought was just the funniest thing back in the day, and we would watch it over and over again. I know I've told the story about uh, the scene from Monsters vs. Aliens before, about the about one of the characters, uh, Dr. Cockroach, where he would, like, um, dance on a dance pad to some sort of uh, song from Aqua. You know, the, the Euro pop group behind Barbie Girl. Yeah, them. I'll admit, that song's honestly a guilty pleasure of mine. Oh, wait. I don't know why I was going there. Oh, it's a stagecoach mission. Right. But yeah, another scene from uh, Monsters vs. Aliens that we thought was the funniest thing is... I know a lot of people probably... Oh, by the way, we got the Gold Star Space Sheriff. <clears throat> but anyways. Uh, the other... Another scene from that movie was... Um, the one where the President of the United States pl is playing uh, Axel F, you know, the theme song from Beverly Hills Cop, on a uh, keyboard or a synthesizer. And, yeah. Honestly, though, I still think that scene is funny. Probably the best scene in the whole movie. But, uh... But yeah, there was plenty of other stuff that we would watch. It, it, yeah, that scene, because we had Monsters vs. Aliens on DVD, and we would watch that scene over and over and over and over again. Anyways, next up is Petting Zoo. Not sure what we do here. Do we just throw a whole bunch of animals into the... Uh, into this fenced area over here? Like this pig? And this chicken? But I'll throw this chicken in here and see what happens. Nothing, apparently. There's also a sheep. Maybe the sheep has something to do with this. Maybe the sheep is the key to all of this. Let's find out. Huh. No, it's not. All right, let me find the outfit for the town people. There's also a chicken here. Let me check the chicken. Let me check. Uh-oh. The game doesn't like it. Come on, game. I was in the middle of a mission. God. All right, let's try to find the outfit that we apparently need for this mission. Mr. Zerg fan. Okay, never mind. This guy. This guy will do. Okay, so he needs a specific hat, I believe. Uh. That'll do. It's not that. It's another one, I believe, judging by the photo. The photo could be wrong, for all I know. Is it this? No. It's this. It's this guy. And he has a different hat. Alright. Give him a different hat. Apparently, I think it's white in the photo. Uh, it might be. I don't know if it's that, though. It might be, though. I 
10 gallon hat. I don't know if that's it. Also, does the... Does the... Does the outfit of this character matter, though? That's a thing. For the petting zoo mission. No, this is definitely the hat. Alright, now that we have this guy's hat... Dang it! Just give me this guy. And I'll have to go over. And... Work out this whole petting zoo fiasco. Okay, we just had to drop the townsperson in there. And there we go, look at that. The animals are all either chasing him or following him, or both. Alright, there we go. That's that. We have ourselves a little petting zoo. I don't think I've ever been to a petting zoo. I always found the concept to be interesting. Like, wow, a zoo to where you could pet the animals? That's cute. I have been to real zoos, though. They're pretty cool. I, have pro I was probably... Sc you know what? I think I was scared of them as a kid. I was definitely scared of elephants. I hated elephants as a kid. Not for that reason, do you think? I just thought their... Uh, the sounds they made were kind of loud. And I didn't like them. But, what would it say we have to make a mariachi band? I'll do that. We got one mariachi. I'm, I might turn the music on for this one as well. Because this one might be interesting to hear our little band play a nice little song. If you know what I mean. Mariachi number two. Oh my god, shut up, Rex. I don't care. No. Stop them yourself. I don't know what that flickering texture was in there. Uh, where did I go? Okay. <laughs> Apparently I just disappeared for a second. That's great. You ever hate that in games to where your character will just randomly disappear? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that issue in a game before, honestly. But, uh... Let's get our, another mariachi member in here. Very nice. Not the kind of music I expected. I expected a lot more guitar in that. A lot more acoustic guitar. Maybe something you'd hear from, I don't know. I don't know. I know this isn't an actual mariachi band, but uh, Rodrigo and Gabriela. You know, the the acoustic guitar duo. They're pretty cool. I actually really like their, I actually really like their music. They're cool. I always found it funny that their songs were in the rock band series of games. And that the the sec the sec like one of the guitar parts was just put on bass, like because in the in the game, if you want multiple guitar parts, one of them has to be on a bass guitar. So songs like that, which are just two guitar parts. Yeah. Anyways, what's next? Alien hero team. So the superhero outfit for the aliens we bought from the store is now finally coming in handy. Uh, I don't know where it is. Here it is. We got that. I'm gonna get the mask on too. Look at that. We got ourselves a superhero. But we're gonna need a team of them if we really want to fight some crime. Gotta get the Avengers up in here. Or the Justice League or something. Or Okay, thanks game. <laughs> the fact that it did it twice? Okay. With just my character disappearing? 
Yeah. Thanks, game. I really appreciate that. There we go. We now have a team of superheroes. Look at that. It's like a little, like a little TV show opening. Be prepared to see that show on your uh, local cable network. Or however you watch TV shows. I know most people will probably just stream it. But yeah, Alien Hero Team. It's going to be on, uh, it's going to be on, I don't know, Hulu or something. Or maybe even, maybe even Netflix, I don't know. Disco Fest. So we got to get the disco guy from earlier. I think he even has some hair there. We got to get him inside the, the, uh, the barn. So yeah. So we give him specific hair, it seems like. Now that's hair. Gotta have an alien John Travolta up in here. Cause we're about to have some Saturday Night Fever in the uh, the barn. How's that? What should I do next? I don't know, Jesse. We're in the middle of something here. I don't think it's time to ask that question. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. He's busting a groove. Oh my god. I don't think this I don't think this mission was in the Wii version, but if it was, we would have loved it. I would have loved it. My sister probably would have too. But But yeah, that's another Pictomatic mission done. Let's see what's next. We only have six more to go. Well, outside of the ones that we've been unable to do, like the uh, the ghoul school and the whatever. Balloon hat party. Got a party going on. We're gonna need some balloon hats. I don't think I've ever worn a balloon hat, but even nowadays, because I, I probably would have despised it back then because there's always the fear of it popping and blowing out my eardrums. Yeah, I hate I hated the sound of balloons popping too. Too. Really any loud noise I hated as a kid. But uh here we got more balloon hats. And we just need two of them. And there we go. Apparently it caused enough static to where they stick together. Now does that actually happen with balloons? I think it does. But I do remember, I have plenty of, or I have, probably, I think I just have one story of uh, the playground at my elementary school had, like, a tunnel, like a horizontal tunnel that you could go into. Uh, one, of, one of my friends, their hair, like, apparently the static within that tunnel built to where their hair would, like, stick to the, at the end of the tunnel. It was hilarious. They have like frizzy hair. Ah, oh, good times. All right, pot pan pandemic. Oh boy. Ah yes, there's a pandemic hitting Woody's Roundup, and it involves pots, and pans. That's right. Kids, no diseases here. Just some good times. Wearing pans on your head. It's spreading across the nation. It may as well be a disease. Better stay safe from the pot pans. They're everywhere. And they're knocking each other out. It's crazy. Right, anyways, what's next? Propeller head. So pretty much like the pot pan pandemic, 
But now everyone's getting propellers on their head so they be able to fly away. And it's this one. So yeah, pretty close by on the menu. So it was a pretty quick mission. Alright, let's see. Propeller head number two. And just one more. No, I don't want to get on bullseye. I haven't used uh, this shop in a while. Let's use it. Okay, that doesn't really do much good for us, but we now have three propeller heads. What's going to happen? Oh. Not only is there a pandemic, there's also a cyclone or a tornado coming in. They spin together enough. My god, so much going on in this town. Alright, three more. So we got clowning around. Hey, got some clowns coming in. Alongside the superhero team is the clown team. Look at the clown. Isn't he funny? Wish I had an actual clown horn with me. Make the honk noise. That'd be hilarious. I have a friend who brings one around with them. Did you guys see that? For one frame, that clown alien had like the normal alien outfit on for like a split second. I might have to go back and check on the footage to see that. Pretty sure it was T-posing, too. Alright, there we go. And it happened again. Alright, now we got some aliens clowning around on their tiny little car. That's funny! Ha ha! I'm laughing! Ha ha! That's hilarious. What's your... What's your, uh... What's your next joke, Mr. Clowns? Alright. Anyways. Plumber's Helpers. Now we gotta put pl uh, plungers on their hats as opposed to the pot pans and the propellers. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll admit these pictomatic missions could get pretty repetitive, but it's nothing too terrible. Because they're still pretty simple tasks. They don't take you like an hour long each. It does take you sometimes less than a minute. Pretty quick missions overall. I like them actually. I actually really like these, um,. These pictomatic missions. They're a nice change of pace. I mean, they're like a lot of missions, but they're just... They're pretty cool. A lot of just bite-sized missions. I'm okay with that. There we go. It's pretty much the same as the... Um... Oh! <laughs> okay. Apparently they got flushed down. I thought it was going to be the same as the uh, propeller head cutscene, but nope. They're being flushed to the... to the... To the... Uh-oh. I'm quick. I'm right next to them. And... There we go. This guy. I know this guy. We have a long past. There we go. I think that I think that's it. Not bad, Sheriff. You captured one bandit with the bounties. You made a tidy profit of two hundred coins. All right, that meant nothing to me. But uh, all right, so we only have one more, maybe, and that is here comes the bride. All right, it looks like we got a newlywed. Up here in Woody's Roundup. That's nice. Yeah, let's give him the hat. And let's give him the outfit. It's probably under Bride in this menu, if I'm guessing. Uh, uh, maybe. We'll have to see. 
I don't think it is, actually. Unless I don't have it, which would be a shame. Ah, here it is. Let me give him different hair. No, not mermaid hair. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. They got roses. Or er, rose petals. All around. How nice is that? And I believe now we just have two. Um, two Pictomatic missions to do. We're almost done with the Pictomatic missions. Wow. Alright, Zombie Horde. Uh, we may as well try this mission. I don't know if I can do it right now. Because I don't know if I have the specific alien costume for this. But we'll see. Man, all this zombie talk is really bringing me back to... Uh... Oh wait, this is hat. I don't need a hat. I need a specific uh, hair. Bringing me back to an era to where, back in like 2011 and 2012, uh, I don't think I told this, I was absolutely obsessed with Minecraft. I mean, what kid wasn't? But I would play it all the time on my computer, even though it could barely run it. But I still played it anyway. And I watched a whole bunch of YouTubers. I mean, again, who didn't? And, uh, yeah. Of course, I would talk all about it at school. And, alright, Junior Reanimator. Okay, I don't even know what I did. I think it has something to do with the ghost, but yeah. Zombie outfit did nothing, even though it might need, like, a specific thing, maybe? I don't know. This might just be the wrong outfit, for all I know. Okay, I looked up a guide. I hope this is right. Because... Yeah, I don't know. Some of the stuff in this game is quite cryptic. That is, if you want to 100% it. Yeah, I think I said this before, but this is not a really... Like... This is not an easy game to 100% because there is so much to this that... You'll be able to... Like, f find stuff for this for days. Oh! Yeah! That's something you have to do! You have to ground pound to the right of the grave in order to, uh, get the scary zombie outfit. This guy over here. Okay. Wow. Who would have ever guessed to do that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Well, that's that. God. Glad they made something like that so freaking cryptic. Jeez. Alright. There we go. Yeah, big difference between these two outfits. There we go. So we got the zombie horde. Pictomatic mission done. And this probably means that we can now do the uh, ghoul school one as well. Yeah. All just looking at them with the same expression. I mean... That's a, that's kind of an expression normal humans do. To be fair, nowadays. A look of disappointment. Yeah, we could probably do ghoul school now. We just gotta get a witch and a skeleton. I think we... Yeah, there's a skeleton. We just need a witch. So, uh... Got witch hair. Witch outfit. And which hat? All right, now we just gotta. Th whoops, we gotta throw them all. Oh, whoops, dang, now it, not again. Throw them all into the school, starting with the witch, and then we'll do the skeleton later, along with the zombie alien. All right, should we turn the? Should we? Oh, okay, I don't even know what Jesse said. 
Should we turn the music on for this magical occasion? Perhaps? Maybe? Oh. Alright. Or do we just have to throw one of them in? No, it's all three. Okay. Just making sure. I think I was trying to tell a story earlier about, um... Uh, watching the trailer for the, uh, the Up video, the video game for the Pixar movie, Up. So in the trailer, you know, Tom Kane is the narrator, and he, he said, like, in the trailer he says, uh, like, says the title of the game, Disney Pixar's Up, the video game. Disney Pixar Up, the video game. And, uh... And, of course, whenever I would talk about the game, I would kind of imitate him, and, sit, and rather than just calling it Up, would call I'd always refer to it as Disney Pixar's Up the Video Game. And I, I distinctly remember my sister getting annoyed by that. Also, what the heck is up with Prickle Pants? Uh, what? All the world's a stage. What is up with his textures? That is not, that is not normal. What on earth is going on? Yeesh. I feel I'm going about this all wrong. Is this meant to be a comedy? Well, so it's, or a tragedy? It's cool how fu like they got the fuzz down for uh, Prickle Pants. But jeez, the texture's on them. My god. I remember playing this game on a Xbox One, because I actually played it on that system via backwards compatibility. And that same issue would happen to where sometimes a uh, NPC's like textures would glitch out. Um, when I first saw that, I thought it was just an emulation issue. And I was like, oh, that probably doesn't happen on the Xbox 360 version, right? Apparently it does, so it's just an issue with the game itself. I'm not sure why that happens. Also, where is the uh, zombie alien? Where is he? There he is. All right, come with me, Mr. Alien. You need to go to school. Seems like a lot of these licensed games on the 360 seem to have texture glitches. But uh, I'll talk about that right after we throw this alien into school. There we go. Oh boy. All right. And there we go. Picto Master, and we even got an achievement for it. All right, yep, complete all Pictomatic missions. So now we only have one more achievement to do for this game, and that is collect all the gold stars, gold superstar. After that, we'll have all of the achievements for this game. So that's nice. All right, and we got a gold star, Picto Master, and so yeah. That's it for the Picto Mat. Oh, whoops. Probably turn it down all the way. All right, there we go. There we go. Picto Veteran as well. Wait, Picto Master and Picto Veteran? Is there a difference between the two? Uh, Picto Master. You've completed all Picto. You've completed all of Sid's Haunted House, Enchanted Glen, and Zerg's Spaceport Pictomatic Mission. So pretty much just doing all the, like, the sub-world ones. Okay, that's cool. Alright, so yeah, we have now done all 40 of the Pictomatic Missions. Look at that. Alright, so that's another part of this game completely taken care of.